Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today we are doing a very long awaited video, which is I'm engaged. And I wanted to share with you guys our engagement story, a little bit about my ring, wedding planning, all that fun stuff in a video um, and catch up. So please be sure to subscribe down below. Um, write me a comment, tell me your engagement story, tell me about your ring. You know what, just hit my line and let's get into it. So I'm very, very behind with vlogging. I apologize, it's been an absolutely wild summer. Um, I also just got laid off from my job, which I've mentioned in previous videos as well. So that's why we've got a ton of time to catch you guys up. Um, but I posted a vlog about us going to California, a lot of nail reveal videos, and that was because I was getting engaged that weekend. Austin and I had talked a little bit back and forth about you know, what the trip would be that we would do it on, um, the timing that we would do it on. I didn't know exactly what the ring looked like. I didn't know exactly where it would be, but we both had, a, had kind of good communication throughout because I think ultimately like he wanted to make sure it would be something I'd be happy with. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't just like letting him fly rogue. Um, but we often do a lot of things together. That's just kind of our style. So it wasn't a complete surprise, which I know some people find faux pas. Um, personally, I didn't mind it because I was still very much surprised. So we flew out to San Francisco in the morning. We took a 7 a.m. flight out of JFK. It was disgusting, literally. Like I was like not a human for those six hours. And we get there, we then had to rent a rental car and drive two hours south to Big Sur. And Throughout the trip, this was a five day trip. So I knew it was happening sometime within that five days. I just didn't know what day. And real talk, I did not think it was gonna be the first night because I was super jet lagged. Um, I was tired as heck. And it was also really, really cold in Big Sur. It was, you know, end of May. I was thinking it's easily gonna be 75 degrees. No, ma'am, it was. 65 and I had only brought one sweater which was like a hoodie to wear on the plane so I was very much not prepared for that we get to post ranch in again I'm unsuspecting and it's just a beautiful wellness retreat landscape overlooking the ocean um, they have a beautiful like oceanfront nice. restaurant they had a bunch of park benches or park benches, gotta get a bunch clip. of property benches that you could go sit on and overlook the views of the ocean and I remember thinking like, wow, it's so beautiful. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so glad the travel is done. So we're getting ready for dinner now. And Austin had asked me if we wanted to get some wine and like have a little drink on our patio, which I said, of course, like after a travel day like that, like hell yeah, I'm in. So we have this little glass. He goes off for a minute and I'm like, oh my God, do we think he like went to get the ring? But then I'm like, no, focus at hand. Don't get distracted. And of course that night I decided to wear all black because it's the first night. I kind of couldn't be bothered with putting together an outfit. So I literally look like I'm going to a funeral. You guys, a funeral for my single life is what it was. And we go out to a bench and Austin's just being so quiet. And don't get me wrong, he's like kind of a quiet guy sometimes, um, but quieter than usual. And I'm like trying to make conversation. He's just kind of like, acting bizarre so I'm like okay but then in the back of my mind I'm like there's no way he's gonna propose to me tonight I'm so tired he's tired like we both just had an excruciatingly long day it's 7 p.m. but it feels like 11 p.m. like there's no way and he looks over at me and he just gets down he pulls the ring out of his pocket you guys he pulls out the ring like this I'm scared as heck. Like the first thing in my mind is like, because we're on a bench that is over a steep, steep hill. So if I tripped or if he tripped or something jumped out and he the ring went flying, like we'd probably lose it. So that scared me. More on that later. Apparently the box was just too darn big. And so he knew it would be obvious if it was in his pocket or in like the carry-on luggage. But I was just like, boy, you couldn't find a little one. Like this scares me. Like he literally just pulled out of his pocket. So. He says a speech. I didn't remember a lot of it, to be honest. Um, I remember it not feeling like super long, but maybe like a minute. And I just remember him saying like, you know, you're the mother of my child. You're the love of my life. You're my person. And I remember saying yes. And that's really it. I am a crier, but I was not expecting to cry that much, but I was just so overwhelmed with thoughts, with feelings, with thinking of the future. My anxiety was like running wild, but in a good way for once. 
and it was just such a special evening just us celebrating um, I couldn't I literally couldn't stop crying like all the photos we took together just like casual selfies like we didn't have a photographer or we didn't do like a big blowout thing I think I've always been a pretty private person about my relationship um, about just sharing things any more intimate than like you know a posed photo and that's just my style so we celebrated that that weekend and then we went back to LA where I'm from and we had an amazing amazing engagement party with my closest friends in LA um, and it was just a blast it was so much fun celebrating we went to a casual restaurant in Eagle Rock we then went to get drinks after and it was just such a fun time it felt very overwhelming at first because like ah like frazzled from everything but it was so much fun it was so good to spend time with them we took so many photos my friends you know dressed up the entire area with all these florals and it was just a, a beautiful moment and i feel so grateful to have spent time celebrating with them so it was such an amazing experience i'm i'm so happy i'm over the moon i feel like i'm very private about it still and i should probably be a little bit louder about it but i just um, I don't know, I'm soaking it in. I'm just enjoying being engaged. I'm enjoying finding my person, building life together. So that's the story. A little bit about my ring, which you guys can see here. It is a elongated cushion cut, which is ultimately what I decided with going with first stone. I knew I also wanted an antique cushion or like a large facet cushion, something that looked a little bit older, like an older style versus the newer styles, which look a little bit more crushed. Um, and very bright, very white. I knew I wanted big facets. So the stone was incredible. I knew when I saw it, I had to have it. And at that point, I was out of the process. So I actually didn't even know what size this was, um, anything about it. I just saw it in a row and was like, that's the one I want. And then he went with, you know, a hidden halo. It's got the micro pave on the side. Oh my God, there's the bug. Go away. I'm talking about my ring. You are so rude. And then on the inside, which you guys, I, I doubt you could see, but there is a garnet, which is Austin's birthstone. stone. It's also a stone to help when you're traveling. It provides safety for your travels, which Austin really loved because um, over the years I've developed some sort of travel anxiety, especially when flying and Austin's my support person. Austin's like the person who's there for me. And oh my God, I'm like, I'm getting emotional talking about it. Um, but it was just such a thoughtful piece that he added to the ring that I didn't expect. And then in the inside, it says from Paris with love and Paris is his last name. So I thought that was so sweet. And he just, you know, went above and beyond with the ring detail, um, with the planning, with the entire, you know, few weeks that we celebrated it. I was just so lucky to have him and to have each other to just celebrate that moment together. Oh my gosh, I don't know why that was hard. So you're probably thinking what's next and what's next is we're moving to London. So probably no wedding next year, although my dad would like to say otherwise. And I was like, dad, respectfully, I'm getting married, not you. So next year's not in the cards. Um, but we're looking to get married hopefully in the next like two years. Um, and we're looking to do destinations. So we're gonna do a lot of looking when we're living in London. Um, we're not sure if it's gonna be France, Italy, Switzerland, Portugal, Croatia, Greece. Um, but we're trying to find somewhere that's relatively easy, easy to get to from you know California where I have a lot of family and friends, New York where he has a lot of family and friends and just being mindful of the travel that's being involved for the people that we love. So lots to do there but until then we're just celebrating the engagement um having a real good old time and i can't believe we're here i can't believe we're finally here so please feel free to ask you know anything about the the ring or the process or whichever um, i'm happy to share down below i don't think i'm going to be doing like a dedicated ring video or anything like that um, but I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have and thank you guys so much for being here It's like I think about some of the vlogs I have up. I have other boyfriends on the vlogs <laughs> I have you know single parts of my life and now we're here. So it's a crazy new chapter I hope you'll be along for the ride with me subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye